Hello and welcome to IBC 2013 here at Setup at the Grass Valley booth. We're going to give you a quick overview of what's new and exciting here at the show. Okay, one of the great things we have is a whole new extension to our camera product line. We've got the LDX Compact Camera, which uses the same imaging technology as our regular LDX series, but in a much smaller form factor for use in specialty applications. We also have some new enhancements to the licensing options for the cameras, as well as a new OLED-based viewfinder for high performance applications and wireless uh, transmission adapters to use with a variety of third party uh, partners. We uh, have GV Edge. GV Edge is our integrated playout system and uh, we have a new software enhancements there for cross conversion, playout control, simulcast, loudness processing and monitoring. We have Ignite Connect for automated production in newsrooms and studios with a new software release for advanced newsroom computer portal, timed events, and more qualification for third-party devices. We're showing EDIA 7, which was released this summer. It's a 64-bit application to support high-performance editing applications like 4K, and now supports third-party hardware I.O. devices. We have the latest release of the Stratus nonlinear production tools with uh, some great new features. One is multi-site to allow uh, users to be able to remotely browse and transfer content. We have more support for multi-platform processing with a whole set of automated rules to allow you to do transcoding and publishing to multiple platforms. Um, and we have added more editing support. So in addition to support for Grass Valley Edius, we support Avid with Media Composer and News Cutter, uh, Adobe Premiere now, which is new, and um, Apple Final Cut Pro 7. Over in our servers and replay section, we have K2 Summit showing more format support. So we have DNX HD. Now for the first time, we're showing AVC Long Gop Playback and AVC Intra 1080p 50 and 60. One of the most important applications for K2 Summit architecture is K2 Dyno Replay. What's new for this product is ShareFlex. ShareFlex allows users on multiple Summit servers with a Dyno controller to share clips, highlights, playlists, and even record channels. For production switchers, we have K-Frame for Carrera and Cayenne, which we introduced early this year, and we've shipped more than 75 systems. We have a new software release, which includes Image Store for integrated clip playback. Uh, and of course, that's 1080p capable, as well as an integrated ME previewer. GV Director is back for non-linear live production. This includes switching, clip playback, graphics, and integrated multi-viewer and will be shipping later this year. For broadcast infrastructure, we have a brand new product called Command Center, and this is for broadcast infrastructure control. It allows you to have control of both Grass Valley and third-party devices, and you're able to do management, logging, and monitoring. There are also software enhancements for the Trinix multi-viewer. So that's our wrap-up here at the show. So if you're here in Amsterdam, please stop by and see what we have. If not, come and visit the website daily and see our ongoing GV reports.